did you say the name of this place was? This is paradise. How's it going, everybody? Today I'm reviewing the new film directed by, and I hope I don't butcher this, Wom Colette Sarah, The Shallows, starring Blake Lively. Now, this movie is basically about Blake Lively. She's kind of escaped because she has some personal things going on in her life, and she wants to go surfing at this particular beach uh, because of just some personal things. And lo and behold, we get a shark attack, and now she's got to survive on this rock and uh, find a way back to land alive. Now, I heard mixed things from this this movie. I've, it has a pretty decent Rotten Tomato score, but I've also heard people just not like it, so I didn't know what I was going to expect from this. Uh, and I go in to watch this, and I'm wanting to obviously like it, and coming out of it, I did like it. I, I really enjoyed it, actually, for the most part. There's a couple things here and there, but overall, I think this is a very enjoyable film, and I got what I expected. Let's start with the performances. Blake Lively, it's pretty much just her. Uh, there's a few side characters here and there, but it's mainly just her for the entire movie, and uh, she does a great job. I haven't seen too many Blake Lively films. I, I'm trying to remember some, and I literally cannot remember any at the moment, but I haven't seen too much of her, but from what I've seen, this is probably her, one of her best performances of her career. Uh, she's great in this one. A lot of it's acting just by herself uh, on this rock, a lot of physical acting uh, with like screams and pain and stuff like that, uh, and she does a great job with it, and it's it takes a lot to actually keep me interested if it's just you, pretty much, for the entire film, and she did keep me interested the whole, whole way. The other big standout from this movie was the cinematography. The cinematography is great. Uh, it, it looks great. Uh, it, I don't know if there was green screen used in it and what was and what wasn't. Uh, a lot of it looked really legit, so I, I felt like I was on the ocean uh, surfing with her while watching this film. Even the shark pretty much looks pretty good. For the, There's a couple of times I'm like, oh, it's a CG shark, but for the most part, it looks really real. And yeah, the whole look of the film I really enjoy. Also, the way it builds tension is great. Uh, I, I love the tension building. There's there's a couple parts that I actually didn't see coming, like where a shark would pop out or something like that, and I'm like, oh, it, I'm pre normally pretty good at predicting, oh, there's a jump scare going to happen right here, and this one actually got me. I was like, oh, and I like that when it, when it actually succeeds, but a lot of times it doesn't for me, and uh, in this movie it did. Uh, there's a lot of, there are a lot of cool stuff in this, a lot of the clever things that she does to try to get back to shore. Uh, one of my, my negatives is near the end, it gets a little bit far-fetched. There's some things that I'm like, okay, sure, a little unrealistic here. I don't know if you would have thought of that on your own or, or some stuff like that. Uh, but but overall, for the entire film, I'm glad it was only an hour and a half. It was the perfect running time for a film like this. Uh, you don't need too much plot points. I didn't care too much about her family stuff going on. I don't know if it was necessary to have in there. I didn't really latch on to that part of it. Um, but overall liked it, again, just a little bit far-fetched in some spots, and I didn't care too much about her whole family life, and, uh, but overall I got what I expected. I got what I expected, I got a beautiful looking film that had lots of tension and uh, a shark attack. That's what I wanted, and Blake Lively again was great in it. And for those reasons alone, I give it a movie rating of an 8 out of 10, really solid film for all the things I just said. Uh, as for my enjoyment rating, again, give that another 8 out of 10, I really liked it. I, I could watch this movie again. Uh, I don't know if it'll ever make my top 10 of the year, I don't think it really is in that top 10 picture, but it's an enjoyable film, and if you know what you're getting yourself into, a shark movie kind of reminiscent of 127 Hours, where someone's stranded and needs to survive, it's, it's a survival film, uh, a thrilling survival film, is really what this is, and if you have that, then I think you can enjoy this film. So let me know if you like this movie, if you've seen it, or if you're looking forward to it, let me know why in the comment section below. Again, be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos each and every week. That is it, and I'll talk to y'all later.